Hey everyone, this is Ben from 3D Retro. Prepare to get your weekly toy fix right now. This is Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. Shiny heads, shiny heads, shiny. stuff. Oh, <laughs> shiny heads. Bug. Welcome to, welcome to, bald geeks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Toy Geeks Behind the Counter. That's where we are. We're behind the counter, and guess what? We survived WonderCon. Ah, WonderCon. Yes. It was and wonderful. So this is going to be our little WonderCon recap episode. I mean, we're like now, three weeks late. I know. Now, during WonderCon... I didn't go. That's how I survived. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. during, I ran into a couple of people there. Yeah. And I decided to bring one of them back here with me. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Should we get them on here? Where, where is he? Guest, come on in! Hey, hey guest! Look at that guest! <laughs> it's Juan Muniz, everyone! Yay! Hey. Hey. All right. I feel the love. Look at that. We got George <laughs> Clapton. That's, that's like, a, that's like a first. And smiling. No. <laughs> we didn't get that far. So, WonderCon. Well, first, who are you? What do you do? What are you here for? What do you want? I was selling tacos outside, and they invited me in. They were delicious. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm an artist, uh, recently, I guess, toy designer. Um, I draw bunnies and cute, morbid stuff. Okay. Yeah. That, that's it. That's good stuff. <laughs> Pretty much it. Don't you do murals? Yeah. When they let me or when they don't know that I'm doing them? When you want to. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Actually, didn't you make or do a mural for this store right here? 3D retro in Wait, beautiful in Glendale, Burbank, adjacent. I was. I was actually uh, honored to be the first one of many to come. Hopefully, to uh -huh, do the, uh -huh. the mural and pop the cherry of 3D retro. Still working with the city Which on is that a one. Beautiful mural, <laughs> as you. you can see. This was Look awesome. This was also the the debut of the uh, the drone. Yeah. The official Toy Geeks drone. The official... Toy Geeks drone. Yeah. <laughs> the official Toy Geeks 3D Retro whatever else Ben does drone. No, Toy Geeks only. Okay, Toy, toy Geeks Toy Geeks drone. will let you borrow it for other things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, oh. I have the memory chip, so if you ever want to film with the drone... Oh my God, that's it's where it toy went. Geeks drone. It's over at his house. Oh, but uh, you did it... Uh, you, first of all, I got to say, personally, I've never actually seen anyone do a mural before. And really? I was my, that was my first time, and I and I had my my all my kids were with me, and they were just like, you know, and I think my daughter was hanging out with your daughter, and she was just like, yeah, that's what he does, and she was just like, wow. Yeah, my daughter's so jaded, <laughs> and like it's literally <laughs> watching paint dry, like uh, literally. They, well, that's it is what watching kids paint do. Dry. Yes. Yes. they. I'm like, have you guys seen the last episode of Toy Geeks? And they're like, what do you do? They. That's what they do. But uh, yet my daughter's like uh, freaking out that she saw you right. because you were on YouTube. <laughs> right. So you're a YouTube she, sensation. She had a, she had a picture taken with Chester. Yes, that's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> and and no 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 no. And I'm gonna sh I'm gonna post it right here. My daughter, I'll, I'll do you one better. She has a poster of your piece next to her bed. There you go. This is <laughs> thanks, kids. I know people, people with kids. They're, I don't have a daughter awful, or any pictures of yours. <laughs> they're awful. They're awful. <laughs> Anyway, You're so that was a mural. Oh, that's right. WonderCon. How'd you like WonderCon? How, how did it go for you? It was fun. It, you know, I, I love going out to California. I'm originally, like, I live in Las Vegas, so any chance that I can to get out and just basically hang out with, like, my nerd con family, you know, it's always fun. That's You're us. always welcome. That's in the us. Did you get anything while you were there? 
Uh, I got strep throat and I couldn't talk for the oh, first three days. You got the awesome. nerd flu. Yeah. Okay. Did you get anything, Ben? <laughs> uh, I did. I got a couple of things, actually. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Because I got a couple things. Let's see who brings it up <laughs> first. Well, the first thing I got. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was doing it. I wasn't even going to try. Good one. That's good. Uh, huh. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Wizard of Oz is kind of my favorite movie. What? And this is from Das Nerd. Frank. I like to say Das Frank website website right there. Um, he's this is like I fell in love with this like immediately as soon as I saw these prints. He's got tattoos on all their faces. That's a tattoo. That's a stitched on. This is like into his into his uh, his uh, tin engraved. Engraved. Thank you. And then this is like a little tag on his ear. I mean, come on. Anyway, I'm gonna hang these up in my office because they. This is. I have a space exactly. Can for I this. see that? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're beautiful. Ah. That's my. That's my prize. You want this? WonderCon. You want this? I'll yeah, trade you. Thank you. No, no, thank no, no, you, Das Frank, for that because that was like huh. really good stuff. So aside from like getting stuff, yeah. which we'll talk about in a, a minute here. Uh -huh. Juan was actually selling stuff. Oh yeah, you sold <coughs> stuff. Yes. What you? What were you selling? What were you peddling over there? Um, stickers, toys, and especially my smile figure. Oh. Yay! Hey! Oh. By three oh. retro. Oh. Oh. Da, 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 da. oh! That's where we are. So this is actually based on the mural that's yes. on Which our building. Mural. It's like friggin' Inception. It's Toyception. Yes. Look how cute that is. No, well, you gotta take it out. Look how cute that is. Yes. That's, yeah. Come on. There you go. That's what you do. Smell the vinyl. You have to smell the vinyl. Yeah. yeah I'll smell the box. I don't care. Put the little sign in. Snap it down. Come don't on. break it. Don't. This is no. going home with me, so don't break it. Take it no, easy. no, no. You, ha what? you actually snap it down. You snap what? it in. What'd you that, this should have been a Kansas tattoo. <laughs> no. Like, they're from Oz. She's not from Oz. But she wouldn't get an there. Oz tattoo. She, do you see the little the teardrop? So she, yeah, because she Cause murdered she, the witch. Exactly. But this should have been. No, oh. that was that was no, Kansas. That was her initiation into Oz. And if you read the books, George, like, come on, man. I don't know. She's still there. All right. And there it is. Isn't that cute? So let me see that. There you go. So before you put the sign on him, he has no smile, and then the smile is on there. Yeah. yeah. The sign is. Which is kind of funny because if you flip the sign on the other side, it's blank. Right. And you can do your own. You can draw something. Yeah. So w when we were just putting that in and something to note, I guess sometimes the sign fits all the way down where it's supposed to fit. Right. And sometimes it helps if you just take like a paper clip or something and poke. Because there's a, th the way rotovinyl is made, it's, you know, it's a, it's a hollow cast piece. Mm -hmm. So the thickness of the wall is going to vary on each one. So sometimes if the wall gets a little too thick in the spot where the peg's supposed to be, there'll be a little skin that goes over top of that. Uh -huh. So in order to get the sign all the way down so it's not blocking his eyes, you have to pop it. Yeah. Nice. Now you can either try by pressing down on this, but if you just want to do it correctly, um, then take like, yeah, like George said, a paper clip, push it down, you'll hear a, like a little pop. Okay. And that means, okay, now this thing can go in. And then the stick will fit all the way yeah. where it's supposed to fit. Otherwise, it'll sit about right at the eye level. Yeah. But, but it's vinyl. That's, that's the one thing. The, that's, that's what you get when you do vinyl figures. They're it's limited engineering when you do vinyl right. figures. But that's what makes them so cool. It's so old school and fun. You know what I like about this figure? Is that uh, it looks like the art. It does. It looks like the art. You're literally getting the same thing. It's so cool. Yeah, there it is. Bam. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing about the... Because the bunny's name is Felipe. And... I never knew if it was Felipe or Felipe. I always thought Thank you Felipe. for saying it. Everybody yeah. is saying it was like Felipe. I, feel I like thought it was Felipe. It's like a French thing. I don't know. It feels yeah, fancier. Felipe. But uh, it's, it's Felipe. I mean, I'm Mexican. I don't uh, well, I don't want it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh... But yeah, it was a. Uh, he doesn't have an actual like he has eyes. He has two hollowed out eyes. But he like in all my paintings and all my designs, he doesn't have like any like actual expression. So this was a design that I created based on a painting that I originally did a while back ago, and I thought it it'd be fun to do a piece based on that, and I wanted to give him an expression. And you know we do have other 
colorways that are eventually coming out yep. that are showing different expressions and different emotions nice. on them as well. Yeah, stay tuned for that. We'll probably have one. Well, stay tuned. Yeah, we'll You'll see know. what happens. But this is That's only good. this is forty five dollars for this figure. Uh, I think this one's limited to like two hundred pieces. You made them. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I love it. Huh. He doesn't know. <laughs> They're limited. Yes. <coughs> and yes, you can get them at 3DRetro.com. And uh, there you go. 45 bucks. And you can get them at the store, too, where you can just walk in and get them. Yes. Like, ah, uh, he's so great. He turned out so good. All right, let me have him because that's mine. There you cool. go. Cool, thanks. All right, huh. next up. So, um, so what did you get from WinterCon? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're dying to know. Can you just... Huh. All right. Well, Jack, you were walking around with me, and uh, let's we, we, we saw some large pieces. Also, I'm going to point out, while we were walking around, we did a pocket podcast. Yes. Pocket podcast, I don't know if you guys know or not, but on our YouTube channel, the Toy Geeks Network, we, anybody, artists, anybody can just go on, and um, if they walk into something cool like a convention or a toy store that they like, they can just... Show us around a little seven minute, ten minute video, and um, we did one. And then also a different playlist is a ch new new thing go called Chester Pepper Chats. Oh, that guy! And Chester Pepper Chats basically <laughs> he just walked around. He did three episodes there, uh, talking to uh, cosplayers. So check that out. It's pretty pretty fun. <laughs> Can we talk about this already? Yeah, we talking about the Toy Geeks Network. <laughs> this is the what is the Toy Geeks Network? It's what we're on. Anyway, this is the alien super size figure from Super 7. Isn't Yay. it awesome? Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> That's enough jibba jabba. Let's open this. Thank you, Mr. T. Oh, some uh, stuff fell out. Look at this. I Look at the picture. It. I love it. <laughs> that, is, that is classic. Probably my favorite part of that. Oh. Yes. What's the picture? <laughs> that is family perfect. operated jaws. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. It's a Super 7, they got really popular be with the aliens because they actually found the old molds for the original 1970s what? ones. And that was the very, very first reaction figures. Wow. That's what the reaction figure line came from. Oh, Yay! I didn't even know that we were going to fast forward. That's what happened. You just did it. Da -da 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 -da. It's like... Open up a box, bam, fast forward. All right, let's see. Yes, oh yes, my yes, God. yes, yes. That's pretty freaking. How do you, how, what, under the head? It's a little trigger under there. It's that. a little trigger. It's right under the shaft. Let's see that. Oh, oh, oh now you gotta clean it. <laughs> I can't reach it. Don't mind me, I'm going down. <laughs> this is so amazing. <laughs> Can the tail move? Can the tail move? Does the tail not move? Yeah, yeah, it goes. Turn oh, you can turn it around. Yeah. There you go. Why would you want to do that? I don't wow. Know. Poster yeah. on back. What's the poster on back? Whoa! This time, it's war. Look at that. Dude. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do like the little girl in the box. It's just <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> Awesome. All right, so what do you guys think? Um, so I usually don't like these simple figures like this, but you, you told me the whole backstory that they got the original and all that, so I'm like much This respect. is not even that simple. And it's not even simple at all. It's awesome. It's, like, it's got, it, it, because it could be simpler. This didn't need to happen. You yeah. Know? It's so much, so it, it doesn't even, yeah, I'm, I'm all in it. All right. Mm -hmm. Jackson. I mean, it's like... H.R. Geiger, Giger, how do you say his name? H.R. Geiger. Geiger. Geiger? Geiger. Geiger. I thought it was Jigger. Uh, <laughs> Jigger. Okay. Just, we're awful. I mean, we're so sorry. Matter. We're so He's awful. a master like, of his art, but yeah, you but know when you got a Giger. name. Like Giger. But the side view, you know, he, he is, he, it's very, I don't know. Because of this, though. <laughs> I know. Because if that wasn't there, then they'd do it right. But this part is the part that, like, uh, oh, My only uh, question is, like, mm. I love the flat black on it. It looks really cool. Why did they give him like a platinum grill? Oh. I don't know. Well, 
to make what, it. Was it like that in the movie? It in the like movie, was the, no, where the jaws like, shiny, right? White, like, shiny, glossy. So he literally looks. This is like chromed out, like Little Wayne kind of grill. <laughs> And he kind of looks like Lil well. Lane, but. Now, you, now you know why they did it to make him look gangsta. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's a cool. So, piece, would so. you put this on your shelf at home? Would you display this at home? Probably yes, because okay. I am a huge like. So Alien it is fans. shelf worthy to you. So, is yeah. this a recreation of the Kenner eighteen-inch figure, or is this a blown-up version of their little figure? What I, is this? I think this is a blown-up version of this? the little figure. But didn't another company already do that? Maybe. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, with the alien license, everybody just does the same stupid thing anyway. Whoa. Whoa, hey. Uh -huh. Them's his fighting words. Now it's time for war. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, George? Um, I think the movie's better than any of the toys. He's going to hate Very it true. so that he can take it home. No. He says it's shelf worthy. No. It stays here for a month. I don't, I don't want this thing. I don't want it. Mm. Now, the thing is, it's also $150. Oh, okay. See how much I don't want it? $150 worth. Oh. It's not, but it's, no. it's... The head doesn't move. No. But it's so big. And it's got... Remember I, the... I love remember? it. Yeah. But it, see, to me, it's like... Like the picture on the box. It's like an old commercial that they used to be like... Rawr! You know, and they'd be like... And now it comes with moving arms. And it, it looks like a toy from back in the day. Like... This is what we used to play with. So Hello, everybody. Oh, <laughs> this is it right here. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, oh, my time gal. I am oh. my valve. Baby, my heart's on fire. <laughs> oh, that, we have uh, we spent so you much. Play. All right. Yes. Huh. I I like so it. So not shelf worthy because George hates it. It's not shelf, but you know what? It's still it's fun. a fun alien toy. Just listen to that. Just put it on the shelf. No, it's not, it's not fit. shelf worthy. <laughs> that's, no, it it's shelf worthy. Go ahead. It does, no, that's shelf worthy. Not, that's a fake shelf worthy. Shelf worthy. Fake, fake shelf worthy. Fake shelf worthy. Get it out of here. Yeah, no. Oh. oh no. I will make it fit, George. Do huh. not challenge me. Is it shelf worthy? Not the sign. Not the award. <laughs> Yeah, here, it's shelf-worthy. Go ahead, put it up. Yeah, that's a fake shelf-worthy. Yeah, it's not That's right. a yeah. fake shelf-worthy. Right. We know. <laughs> What's next? Wimps. Anyway. This huh. thing's next. Yay! Oh, so, aside from some production toys, they had a lot of, like, you know, they had a lot of, like, one-of-a-kind yes. custom-made toys. Yes. And I actually saw this guy at Decon and almost bought it there. It's, it's from a company called Lee's Menagerie. And I'm like, should I, shouldn't I? Oh, wait, somebody's calling me on the mic. Got to go by. Yeah. And then the show ended, and I was like, well. <laughs> as, a, mm. as it does. So at WonderCon, I saw, a, like I said, I saw a lot of people that do decon. And I'm like, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, my God. The Condor, you still have it. Yeah. And Lee's Menagerie, she's an amazing artist. And she, by the time we even got to her booth after, like, the first or second day, uh, a lot of her stuff was gone, except for this condor. And I finally got to take the condor home. There you go. Yay! Now, what was what was his name? Because that was an interesting. Now part. that's the other thing. She gives you a gift, uh, not a gift certificate, birth a certificate birth certificate, certificate of authenticity, uh, of authenticity, signed, signed by yeah. her and all that. And it has the name of the of the animal you're buying. And the name of this animal was Vincent, which is the mascot. Which is the mascot Vincent, to yes. Designer Con's name. You know what's funny is now it's going to look like instead of where she she does designer con and sells that big piece and is like wow designer con's awesome I sold so much now she's like wonder con's great I sold so much should have supported a designer con dummy it would have <laughs> <laughs> but we got to sell you everywhere. blew it <laughs> but no but what if it's the what if it's the guy nope. that runs designer con that she bought it that bought the Figure. And went to WonderCon and oh, bought her stuff. No, no. Missed no, opportunity. That's not right. That's not the way it works. <laughs> no. That's cool that his name is Vincent. And she, what do you guys think? I I love it. I I, I wanted to get one of the little um, the little ones that she had in the in the in the nest. She had a nest, does it, does and there was like five figures. They were all sold out. It does look like you a bit. Actually. Yeah. Oh, you know, I see pets, the resemblance. Pets sometimes look like their owners. Oh. See the resemblance. Especially in the eyes. After two cigars, that's what you look like. <laughs> Come on, let's have another one. 
I'll uh, tell you when I've had enough. Anyway, if you haven't heard of Lee's Menagerie, you should definitely go check her out. And she will be at Decon again this year. Uh, so you Maybe. Can she did there. way better yeah. at WonderCon. <laughs> If, you, if uh, she has anything they, left, they got a shop from her. Yeah, econ. she'll make more, right? Right? Maybe? Kind of? I don't know. Sort of. I love it. What else uh, do we got? Uh, All right. Well, now that, this is shelf worthy, but not because you're actually going to go on because it's your show. Yeah. All right. Now we did buy, and you were there. You yeah. saw it. Yeah. We bought one more large thing. Yeah. I'm gonna go get it. Go get it. Okay. All right. This thing's articulated all over yeah, the place, too. Yeah, it's got like a whole skeleton. It's like ball jointed. Yeah, like all right, so here it comes. All right, here we go. Now, are we like not supposed to talk about this? Why not? It's a toy. It's the first rule. What is it, George? <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> Why is there blue tape holding it together? It doesn't matter. Why do you? What's going you're on? so negative. Just to open it. He's into detail. Ugh, I think this is like their little sign that they had. Yeah, it's just so that they but know they can grab it quick. This. Do we need to fast forward this? No, no, this is fine. This right. is from uh, Bluefin and um, Blitzway. Blitzway is a company, I believe, out of Hong Kong. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Korea. They're out of Korea. And they have officially made the first licensed Fight Club Tyler Durden 1-6 scale figures. And it comes in a two-pack. And you got it. And just, you got it. No, because it's here. It's like, it's, yeah, no, there's uh, tape no. on the bottom. Yeah, there's tape How do you, on the bottom. Let's fast forward this. Where's the little? We're going to fast forward this. And they're all here. They're open <laughs> they're now. They're all open and set up already. Look oh, at this. Perfect. That's so good. There's so much fast forwarding power. Movie magic, I tells ya. Well, the tables are awesome. What the is chairs that? are awesome. This is the this is the exclusive, the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive piece. What? <laughs> this is yeah. You got this where? I got this at WonderCon. No, you got it at Emerald City Comic Con. I see it right here. It says right here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Is bathrobe. that really? Yeah. That's the yeah. bathrobe. No, With but it, is that what it here? says? Yeah. 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 Although so. I don't, I didn't know what ECCC stands for. Oh. Emerald City Comic Con. Emerald we City got Comic-Con. duped. Now that ha- comes with a hanger, but it doesn't come with a closet. That's where I come in. <laughs> you would you would make the closet. <laughs> I would make a the, closet. The diorama maker makes yes. a closet. Make a closet Actually, with the rug. It comes with the bathroom, so you would just just hang yeah. it in the bathroom, yeah. dude. I it comes with the shower. So look, it, it comes, comes with, with a shower. shower. That was not displayed. They can't <laughs> display it all. Why not? Because they have a 20 by 10 booth. Why can't they display a shower next to they the... They had a bigger booth than that. So look, over here they give you more more hands. Well, why don't with you take the, all that out during the fast forward? We took all our parts with out. With what are you guys doing? What is it, amateur hour? You don't do that. George, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, this is your favorite you movie, George. That. Yeah, you're supposed to be happy right now, George. You're supposed to be excited right you're now. You're supposed to be like, this, this thing is amazing. This is like, like yeah. all these other ones too, George. There's another piece. There's a bigger piece that it goes to, that it all hooks into. This one? No, there's like a bigger chunk. This one right here? Oh, oh yeah, that's one of those. That's they they like probably left one. it in the box. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, no, there it's it right is. There. Yeah. Um, the likeness on the hair, with hair Brad Pitt. This one? Is not as good as the bald head Brad Pitt. So. No, I think that likeness is not is not great. You don't like the facial expression he's making. No, I think the face is no. not good. Squinty wow. or what? Um, the, yeah, it's it's a little pinched. It's a little pinched up and down, like it's squished. Um, the likeness in the Hot Toys and Glorious Bastards Brad Pitt yeah. is amazing. It's probably the best one I've seen anyone do so far. Can you actually put the head, like replace the I head? Don't. You might be able to. I mean, they're all one-six scale bodies. Actually, I don't, I don't know, because he has the neck, he has a neck scar sculpted in, and this has the neck is cut at a different spot. Uh, yeah. So it might not work. Well, they have a different hair too, though. Yeah. They have a hairstyle. But look at look at the outfits, the jacket, the pants, the I mean, the shoes, the shoes are so. Are awesome. The and hand like, has the kiss mark. Hey, Brad Pitt, how's it going over there, Brad Pitt? I don't know, how's it going, blah, dad. <laughs> 
I got 12 monkeys hanging around, you know, da. <laughs> da, da. <laughs> you da. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, okay, so two full figures, lots of accessories. Too many accessories, actually. Because a lot of accessories. They oh, can't so even all wear is them it, all. Is it worth it? Is it worth the cost? Completely worth the cost. I think, because here's the way I figured. Hot toys usually sell for how much? They're 180 to 200, 250 Play. sometimes. Uh, so let's say, <laughs> let's Play. say on the higher Play. end, between 200 to 250, so maybe 225. Well, right? plus, I mean, yeah, you get, there's a lot Stug of accessories. Lamp. Look, yeah. yeah, speaking of accessories, look at the furniture it comes the with. Furn the furniture, furniture pieces alone are probably what make the, yeah. like, the bring table, the cost up higher. It's like, is it made cigarettes. out of wood? It no. feels, it's plastic, but it it's feels not. like wood. It looks like wood. Plastic. So the way I figured justifying the cost is you get two Ooh. figures, even at 225 each, that's all right, like 450. The plastic. And then all the accessories, I mean, hmm. there's your other 25 bucks. Yeah. This is the same as a Hot Toys figure. It's totally worth it. And I asked the company while I was there at, at um, WonderCon whether or not there's going to be anybody else distributing this or wholesaling it. Man. Is Sideshow going to be getting it? Is anybody else in the U.S. going to be getting it? And they said, no. Really? So, George, do you think it's shelf-worthy? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Which one? I, th I, th I think both. That, that one is better, but, I mean, you got to put them both up, I guess, right? I mean, I don't know why you would... Wouldn't. These are so Like, here's good. the thing. Which would you... If, you, if these came separately, sold separately... Mm. This Which one. one would you buy? This that one. one. This one. But not because. See, I would buy this one. But see, but I don't like this head, so that's my problem. <laughs> I, I wouldn't buy either of them because I would want the face on that one, but I want this outfit. Well, then there's no pleasing you. <laughs> <laughs> there really isn't. There really isn't. Oh. I would put Does he that come with one. I would put that one in my living room yeah. and this one in my <laughs> office because this is where I go crazy, and that's where I'm okay. These are so good. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh, see, that's gonna make it better. Uh, is it? Is Unglasses. it? But we'll the mouth. The it's though. the mouth that you have a problem with. This smirk. No, it's not. It's the there squished it face. It's, Let's see. The face looks better with the glasses. It does actually. You're right. Hey, I got a good. He's I even would got actually, the bruise on the side of his face. I would oh, put. Like, I would put real ash in here. You're insane. That's gross. Real ash all over the place. That's and then disgusting. I'd get you know those mouse pads that are little carpets. I'd uh -huh. put that on there, on the bottom. <laughs> fuzzy rug. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? So, oh, it comes with a lighter. Yeah. Oh, it comes with this. And then I say, I put it on a rug. You're insane. Yeah. Like, why? You only do that when you build a diorama. Yes. Uh, All right. So, uh, George is displeased, so let's move on. Let's wrap it up. <laughs> okay. I said it's shelf worthy. Which one? Both. Both. Uh, shelf worthy? I would want to use that chair, so I guess that yeah, one. Yeah, that chair. Shelf worthy? Shelf worthy. Shelf worthy? Mm -hmm. Shelf worthy. Shelf worthy! Shelf worthy! Yeah, he plays along. I like hey, him. Hey, he did it. He did it. <laughs> so little Brad did it. Oh, All right, well, I guess Brad. that's it. You got anything to say, man? Um, thank you guys for having me. Thank um, you for being on the show yeah. with us. And we will see you in the rest of the year with a bunch of new stuff that's coming out. This will is our sketchbook. Will you draw your version of a toy geek in our toy geek sketchbook? Only if it came from the Dolly Museum. And it did! It did! Yay! Oh. Somebody, um, somebody watches the show. Somebody does. <laughs> um, I think so it's deja vu. That's oh. awesome. Oh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a geek stuff. <laughs> geek stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a black cat. Uh, was it the same cat? <laughs> um, all right, so that's it. For real this time. For real. Toy For Geeks. Real. Signing out.